Hey yo, LAZ man, promote on my Instagram page and get seen by real celebrities and important people. You heard, and that's a whole fact. Send me a DM at Real Saint Laz on Instagram or email at the Gem Pop LLC at gmail.com. You heard, come get some of this organic promo. My Instagram page got reach. Whole industry be tapped in. A whole New York City be tapped in. And that's a whole fact. You heard? Holla at me for them story posts. Holla at me for them reels. My reels be going crazy. Know what I mean? Get at me, man. Get in the loop of things. You heard? If you need the double decker YouTube and Instagram promo, I got you. Send me a message. DM me. Real St. Laz. You're... There's a couple of dudes standing there, and they were staring at me and whispering, you know, and clearly to me, they was talking about me, and I thought they were scheming. I thought they was going to try to move me from my shine. I, I, never, I didn't know who these dudes were. One of them had a big ass chain on his neck too. So anyway, I told Just when Just came out to do Just, these motherfuckers over here scheming. I said these niggas gonna be about to try to move. I said, but you know what? I'm gonna move on this motherfucker before he move on me. So road is born. I went over there. Them Chinese boys. I wasn't there with some Chinese brothers that um, was in the four building, I think it was like in 79 or 80, and um, they fucked all, they, they 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 went back to back and what mad police ass, all the seals that was coming in there with batons and all that, they did some like Bruce Lee shit, was putting the motherfuckers out with roundhouses and kicks and all kinds of shit. They, they, they lit the four building up back in the day. It's two Chinese brothers, you know? Yeah, I I'm heard still, about the story. I'm, I'm looking for somebody who was actually there, man. You know, that legend been going through C seventy four forever, and COs yeah. be like nigga that COs be like that shit bullshit. Them niggas ain't fuck nobody up. They they only kicked a couple of people, and then you got that some dudes. Happened. Yeah, then you it got happened. some dudes that's like, nah, I was there. They was knocking the motherfuckers out, but I need somebody that was actually there that want to come on the channel and break that shit down on what really happened. Nah, I heard about it from some of the old timers that was bidding back then. That was you know there. But um, I wasn't on the island back then, so. But um, brothers who I do know that was there said that shit was real, you know. It's, and it's a lot of dudes from um. I know dudes from Brooklyn that was bidding way back then, man. I remember when um, it's a brother named Chill that got killed in a car accident. This shit was in the early '80s, around around shortly after Shamar got killed with that burglary. It might have been '82. It might have been a year after. It could have been the same year. It might have been the end of '81, because that thing with Shamar happened in April. That shit could have been probably even in the late summer. But he had a brother when 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 he got killed, and we all went to the service. We didn't even know he had a brother named Skip, who they brought from up north, and um, they had 25 to life. And we was young old teenagers back then. And we was like, oh shit, we seen him bring his brother in with the handcuffs and the shackles and all that. His brother Skip, you know. And he was he was bidding from way back then. He was on the island when all that shit was happening and all that, you know. I don't know what happened to Skip. I don't even think he's in the country no more. I, I ain't been in no communication with him in decades. But he was a brother that was there. There's a few people that was there that seen it, you know, and said, you know, and, and told us about it, you know, how, um, but there's no, they said they went back to back put that work in they they said they was they was more senior they kept pulling their pen and and more and more seals to come you know they didn't have like a real orange crust squad back then like that shit evolved with the orange crust and the ninja turtles and all that other shit came later on back then it was just a few of them they they probably had a little riot squad that they could come with their little shields and helmets and and, 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 and you know batons and shit like that but they ain't had no official. The Orange Crush dudes was the motherfuckers that came with them orange raincoats back. That was a really Rikers Island. That was really up north. You know what I'm saying? I don't really remember the police on Rikers Island with them big orange. Uh, uh, I was in Elmira in '83 when this is Rhodes Bar. One time at night, 
Um, when the lights go out and all that shit, these motherfuckers walking around with them white hoods on them Ku Klux Klan's hoods. The COs was walking around like that in Elmira back in the days. Yeah, that was a racist, racist place. It was a Miles versus Davis case that changed it, changed it there because it was one time when only white people was getting the jobs in commissary state shop and all the like prime time jobs. You wouldn't see no brother or no people of color with them jobs. So a dude had to file a fucking um, petition or some shit against the superintendent. The case was Miles versus Davis, but that shit changed. It was dealing with racism and, you know, in Elmira. I remember Elmira had a statue of a grown man with a little boy squatting, you know, or, or right next to him, and they both was butt ass naked for years until the visitors and so many people started complaining about it that they took, they removed the penis. They had they, they had their dicks and everything. They had to remove their penis. They had to, they had to take the penises off the statue because that shit was representing some real like homosexuality type shit because. It was a grown man with a little boy, and they both was butt naked. The statue was right in front of the jail. Anybody been in Elmira back in the days will tell you. Right in front of the jail. <laughs> that shit was crazy. And Shimon County happened to have the highest child molestation rate in the state. And that's where Elmira is, in Shimon County. Yeah, I've been to Elmira four times, man. I, I heard stuck. about that statue. I heard about that statue. Yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us been through Elmira. A lot of, a lot of Brooklyn dudes came back in the day. Every, everybody had to go through there to go to the reception, but, but everybody didn't go to population from, from there. My first time there, I didn't go to population. I went to Kaksaki, but I've been to Elmira four times after that. I'm not talking about reception where I actually fucking been there. In fact, the four times I've been there was on this 27 year bid I just did. I've been there four times on that, on, on one bid. Cause they bounced me around a few spots. I've been to like Comstock three times on this bid too. Been to Sullivan a couple of times. I've been to Sing Sing one time, Taxaki one time, Five Points one time, Attica one time, Clinton one time, Auburn one time. I've been to every max except for Shawangunk, East End and Green Haven. Yeah. Then I've been to Mad Mediums too. But um, what time I got to? What time I got to beef with a dude? Because I was in BCF. That's Brooklyn Correctional Facility downtown, right over there by Fort Green and Five, getting all that by the you know right to the Navy Yard. So um, I was coming off a visit. I had to, to guard Josh from Jersey. You know. That's my bro, he's, he's, he's a beast with his hands. And um, he caught a case in Brooklyn, in New York, but he's from the, the guard from New Jersey. But, you know, he's the good brother. I met the brother we was building and all that, you know, was lessons to know that. And, um, you know, me and the brother clicked. We was in the same house together. You know, me and him would go back to back. Anybody coming to the house trying to take that phone or whatever, you know, we had everything, you know, in smash and shit. And, um, I had them both on a visit. I had this 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 this, this shorty named Champagne from um from Queens, and she had a bad little cousin named China. So he seen reflections of us on a visit, and all that. He was like, "Yo, man, I would like to meet a cousin." So I told Shorty the next time she come to pull the guard down on a victory, you know. So um I gave you know his his name and information and all that shit. So so we went on a victory together. Now, um, I had I had a big ass herringbone and some other shit. I had, I had some shine on, and um, just had some shine on, and we had a we had a crazy ice pick with us. And um, anyway, because you know, motherfuckers be getting dudes going on a visit and coming off a visit and all that. Dude used to get robbed. This was in the four building. I'm talking about this was in BCF, yeah, but I remember in the four building. You used to get robbed in that staircase that you go up to go to the visiting room. Many of you dudes got back under that staircase and got back, you know, and got jokes for their jewelry. You know what I'm saying? So, um, anyway, I knew about that kind of shit, so I would bring my pick with me. And when I turned my clothes in to get the jumpsuit to go on the visit room forward, I would hide my pick in, 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 inside my clothes, you know, like in, the, in my pants and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a, you know, 
have my shit wrapped up in their stash and there, whatever. The dudes just putting the shit away and all that. They ain't supposed to check your, your they just know that you're going on a visit, so they supposed to put your clothes to the side until you come off the visit. But I used to keep my ham in there. But anyway, I had the guard post on the visit. So when we came off the visit, we came off at the same time because we was down there together. I was with one shorty, he was with our cousin, the other shorty. We came in, there was a couple of dudes standing there and they were staring at me and whispering. Justin, Justin really see it. He didn't really, even though he was with me, he was like, I guess, off to the side looking at his pictures and, and you know, um, I don't know, he was occupied doing something else. But I seen these dudes looking at me and whispering to each other, you know, and clearly to me, they was talking about me. And I thought they were scheming. I thought they was going to try to move me from my shine. I, I, never, I didn't know who these dudes were. One of them had a big ass chain on his neck too. So anyway, I told Just, when Just came, I said, yo, Just, these motherfuckers over here are scheming. I said, these niggas gonna about to try to move. I said, but you know what? I'm gonna move on this motherfucker before he move on me. So, Rhoda's Barn, I went over there and I pulled out the motherfucking big ass ice pick, right? And I, and I backed, I, you know, I, 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 I booked him for a big ass chain. I took the chain he had, you know, and, um, his man that was sitting there talking to him ain't do shit. I mean, they, I had a drop on him. But anyway, he was sitting there shaking. Like, after I took it, he was he was literally shaking. So I thought, you know, this motherfucker scared. He gonna probably, because I got him when the police stepped out to go get more more visitors off the floor, more, you know, inmates off the floor, or prisoners off the floor to bring in something, you know, to come because they got to come in to get their shit and then get searched and all that shit. But anyway, so... When he went out by, back out by on back out on the motherfucking dance floor, the visiting floor, to get more people, is when I stepped the home team and I backed out the shit and I took a big ass chain from him. So he was sitting there shaking. His man was sitting there. His man ain't you know ain't do nothing or try nothing. So I backed up. I put the chain in my pocket and shit. So so Just was like, yo, that nigga gonna tell. That nigga scared. That nigga shaking and all. I said, I know, I know, I know. So Just said, give me the hammer. So I gave Just the hammer. So Just spun off this nigga jumped up and stabbed this nigga was trapped this nigga jumped up and stabbed me bird nigga stabbed me in the shoulder you heard caught me completely off guard I, you know and maybe he really was scared when he was shaking and all that but the first opportunity he got that motherfucker got and he got me good that shit went in about that shit went in about two or three inches that shit went in my shoulder you heard I think a nigga had some big rusty shit to a nigga stabbed me. I ain't gonna lie, niggas, yo, lies. I went bananas, man. I, I, I ran the fucking just so, yo, give me the fucking hammer. But I took that shit. But just, just ran at him and, and, and swiped at him, but missed. So I said, yo, give me my fucking hammer. I got my shit back from just. I ran after this motherfucker. The first shot, I got him in the head, right in the fucking forehead. But it hit, like, the top part of his forehead, like his skull. So it didn't really penetrate his skin. You know, it, it, it broke the skin and drew blood and all that. You know, put a little bullshit hole in his, a little, little bullshit hole in his enough to shake the motherfucker up. And I, I had him scared and I'm chasing him around inside the fucking visiting room. And shit, and every time the police come, we stop. You know what I'm saying? The police go back out to get more motherfuckers. I'm chasing this motherfucker. This motherfucker was playing ring around the rosy with me. Running running all over the place, so. So I said, you know what? I got tired of chasing this motherfucker. I said, you know what? I'm going to wait by the door. Because everybody going to go... go Gotta go out the door. Once they get everybody in there, this is how they was doing it in BCF. Once they get all the visitors off the floor, then they gonna call the second floor, the, the fourth floor, and the fifth floor, because the third floor was the mess hall. So, or they might start from top to bottom, might call five, then four, skip three, because that's the mess hall, then call two. So, I was by the door waiting for this motherfucker. With, with my hammer in my hand, I said, I'm getting this motherfucker. I wanted to get this motherfucker because this motherfucker had got me already. I said, I'm getting this motherfucker. So I waited by the door. They start calling houses. I didn't even know what floor he was on. because I, Like I said, I never seen him before. I didn't know who, who, who he was. So um, this motherfucker, um, when they called the um, fourth floor, this motherfucker eased. He waited all the way to the end and like like the last person. I didn't I didn't know he was gonna leave, but he did a job of the skies and what house he was in or what floor he was on, because I didn't know when this motherfucker was leaving. And then when they said, All right, last call on the fourth floor, and then I think they was caught going down because they skipped the third because that's the floor the mess I was on to go to the second floor. But this motherfucker 
turned sideways and slid right out the fucking door. Like when they said last call, and he got past me, man. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I wanted, I was going hit. I wanted to get this motherfucker so bad. I was going to stab him up in front of the police. He was just there, no, like that's why I was waiting for him at the door because he had already gotten me, you know. But that motherfucker got away, wrote his bond. So I was like, yo, play sick call tomorrow. Play sick call tomorrow. Sign up for sick call, but he never signed up for sick call, you know. But um. Anyway, we stabbed each other, but his stab was a little more serious than mine, you know, because his shit went, it, his shit went deeper, deep, deep, you know, that shit went in, in, in my fucking shoulder. And, and man, I never reported this shit, you know, I ain't no fucking rat. I never reported it, so I didn't I didn't go to medical or none of that shit. I tended to that shit myself, but what I fucked up, what I should have did was I should have got me a sewing needle and burned that shit and sewed it up myself. I didn't do that, you know. And it was a round wound because he had a, it was a pick. He didn't have a flat and he had a pick. So that's hard. It's hard to sew up a circle. If it's a slit, that shit is easy to sew up. But if it's a circle, that's why they say ice picks is dangerous because you can get internal bleeding from them shits, you know? You can't sew that shit up. You got to kind of try to plug that shit or patch that shit to stop the bleeding, you know? That's what I had to do. It, I had to lay was, on my back. It was bleeding bad, though? Shit. Huh? It was bleeding bad? Oh, I was leaking bad at first. He didn't hit an artery or nothing like that. I wasn't leaking crazy, but I was leaking. And, yo, I wanted to kill this motherfucker. Roll his barn. I was trying to get this motherfucker. And, you know, he was scared. He's a well-known, well-respected dude. Dude named I from Fort Green, you know. He's a well-known, well-respected dude, though, you know. He put work in it. I remember dude snatched his gazelles off the B-54 bus back in the days. He came down Murder Wab and hicks to them niggas and, 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 and some of the boys, uh, uh, yelling them, they yapped them for some gazelles. They, they yapped his ass for some kizzies and, 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 and got off at, at Sumner and, and Myrtle. And he took the bus down to Fort Green. That motherfucker got his hammers and came back and came to Sumner and lit shit up. You know, he ain't shooting, you know, he came and lit shit up. He wasn't no punk. He wasn't no punk. You know, he had a body under his belt, but he had beef with a lot of brothers from Fort Green because, you know, when I had beef with them, and when I had beef with them, they was, hope, they was rooting for me and all that shit. And when he came to Elmira, um, Squirrel and Whitey and all the dudes that was there, the whole Fort Green, they didn't tell him I was there. You know what I'm saying? I stepped to him in the field house, but when I stepped to him in the field house, he told me, he said, yo, man, I wasn't scheming on you. He said, I was telling my man that you look just like my man Kay's son. You know what I'm saying? And I believed him, wrote his bond, and I hugged him, shook his hand and all that, and we squashed the beep and all that because it fucked me up. But I thought he was scheming because somebody... You know, standing off to the side, he pointing at me and whispering back and forth to this dude and, you know, and, and, and looking and all that. But he ain't looking like, but he looking, but he could have been looking at Richard like, damn, could he be k brother? Could he know? No. Maybe he was looking, but in my mind, I'm thinking he's scheming. So, so I'm so I'm going to move on him. I'm going to get him before he get me. And that whole shit spiraled out of control all over motherfucking, um, because... Because he was saying to the, to the brother that, that I look like K or whatever, you know. So and that was a crazy beef. But I, I had spoke about that on um, on one of the um, videos and shit. Some brothers come home and just fade into obscurity, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. I thought about doing that, you know what I'm saying? But I said, nah, I got a story to tell. Not only that, you know, one of the brothers told me, you know, don't let nobody tell K history or tell your history because you can't get mad when they the motherfuckers is telling it wrong. If you want history to be reflected as, as, as for the true facts that it is, I have to tell it myself. I can't let nobody else tell my brother's history.